The Fleet Guard FK36000 is a simple, portable method for testing fuel cleanliness that provides users with the ability to quickly analyse the quality of their fuel. It can be used for troubleshooting or periodic inspection of fuel quality at all points in the system. The kit is designed and developed on the same principles as lab tests and all that is required is one litre of fuel. The kit is supplied in a durable protective case which contains everything needed to perform fuel analysis. No power source or batteries are required so testing can be carried out at remote sites. The kit comes complete with hardware for two modes of performing testing. One mode uses a funnel adapter and the other uses a siphon method. Inside the case you will find a comprehensive list of all the materials supplied. Two grades of filter media patches are supplied with the kit a 2 micron nanonet media and a 1 micron pore membrane. Most fuel can be effectively tested using the 2 micron nanonet media. The 1 micron membrane is more sensitive and suitable for special cases where there is a need for lab analysis of the contamination found in the fuel. Additional patches are available and can be ordered using the part number SP72066. Start by assembling the equipment in accordance with the instructions provided, ensuring that the vacuum hose is securely fitted to the vacuum adapter and that the aluminium collar on the vacuum pump is tight. The funnel test method measures the time of flow of four 250ml samples of fuel through a selected filter media patch. For this test you can use either the 2 micron or 1 micron patch and only one patch is required for the entire test. Remove any coloured cover or separator sheets from the media and then carefully place the media with the grooved side facing the metal screen. Fit the small diameter o-ring on top of the filter media and then tighten the funnel securely in place. If using the 1 micron media for this test, ensure that the shiny side is facing up. Pour the fuel to be tested into each of the four 250ml plastic beakers. Volumes need to be consistent, but there's no need to try to be overly precise. Start the timer and immediately begin pumping the vacuum pump until the gauge reads between 15 and 20 on the dial. This might take anywhere between 10 to 14 seconds and is considered part of the accumulated test time. Check that the vacuum stays within the 15 to 20 range during the entire test, ideally attempting to stay consistent throughout. An occasional pump or two may be required to keep vacuum up. Stop the timer when the entire 250 millilitres has passed through the media and record the time. Repeat the test up to three more times with the other 250 milliliter fuel samples, making sure the vacuum gauge reads zero at the beginning of each pour. If the time for any pour reaches 15 minutes and appears to no longer be draining, there's no need to continue any of the subsequent pours. Once you have the times for the pours, use the data interpretation card to assess the quality of the fuel. You can also inspect the media used during the test and for the one micron media, if you place it in a Ziploc bag, you can send it to a lab for further analysis. Start by assembling the equipment in accordance with the instructions provided, ensuring that the vacuum hose is securely fitted onto the vacuum adapter and that the aluminium collar on the vacuum pump is tight. The siphon test method times the flow of one litre of fuel through the filter media. This test is only suitable with the 2 micron media. You cannot use the 1 micron membrane for the siphon test. Remove any coloured 
or separator sheets from the filter media and then carefully place the media with the grooved side facing the metal screen. Fit the small diameter o-ring on the top of the filter media and then tighten the siphon adapter securely in place. The fuel to be tested uses a 1 litre bottle which should be filled slightly above the 1 litre marker on the side of the bottle. Once this is complete the test can begin. Use the hand vacuum pump to generate a vacuum of between 15 to 20 on the indicator dial. Now snap together the quick connect fitting from the siphon bottle to the sample bottle and immediately start the timer. An occasional additional pump or two may be required to maintain vacuum levels once the test begins. The bottles are graduated and can be used to record the time as the 250ml, 500ml, 750ml and 1 litre of fuel is collected. Record each time as it passes the mark and once you have the times, use the data interpretation card to assess the quality of fuel. You can also inspect the media used in the test.